Hello everyone, I am Prankur Gupta and today we are going to understand static and non-static in Java. So first let us discuss static variables and methods. Static variables and methods are those which are not associated with the instance of the object. Instance means object. So basically static variables are those which do not require an object to invoke them. It means that we, if we want to access any variable and method which is static, we do not require the object of that class in which they are defined okay so only global variables and functions can be declared as static so no local variable which is declared in any function can be declared as static so, and static variables and functions get memory at class compilation what does it mean it means that when our class is getting compiled all the static variables and functions get memory at that point of time so basically that is why we do not require an object to invoke them we can directly invoke them or using class name so we do not require an object to invoke them but we can do that uh, but we can use an object to invoke them but it is not recommended so we should use a uh, directly so we should directly invoke or you sh we should use a class name to invoke static variables and functions okay because they get memory at class compilation now static variables get memory before known static variables all the all the known static variables gets memory at runtime why because to invoke known static variables we require an object and an object gets memory at runtime so all the known static variables gets memory at runtime and we have already we have seen that uh, static variables gets memory at class compilation so that is why static variables gets memory before known static variables that is why static variables can access or static can access only static because when static gets memory no no known static variables or methods gets memory at that point of time so at that uh, what are available at that point of time at uh, only static so static can access only static it can't access non static okay and now static variables also known as class variables why because static variables gets memory at class compilation so they can be invoked using class name instead of invoking using uh, object name so that is why they known as class variables now let us see what are non static variables and methods non static variables and methods are those which are associated with the instance of the class all the non static variables uh, are by all the variables that we have declared uh, that we declared in our class are non static by default if we are declaring int a then it is non static okay so we know that to use these types of variables to uh, access these these types of variable we require an object to invoke them okay so that is why we use an object to invoke these non static variables and methods only global variables and functions can be declared as non static okay so no local variable can be declared or you can say by default a non static a local variable neither be can neither be a non static and nor be a static non static variables and functions get memory at runtime i have already told you we require an object to invoke these non static variables so when when an object gets memory an object gets memory at runtime so basically these non static variables automatically get memory at runtime and non static variables get memory after static variables it is true why because static variables gets memory at class compilation which is before the non static variables so it is obvious that non static variables will get memory at after static variables so now non static variables and methods gets memory after static variables so they can easily so non static variables and methods can easily access static variables and methods also okay because non static variables gets memory at runtime so if they gets memory after static variables so non static variables can and methods can easily access static variables and methods also okay now all non static variables must accessed using object why because all, all non static variables gets memory at runtime so we require an object to invoke them so they are also known as instance variables okay instance means object now all now all static variables known as class variables and all non static variables are known as instance variable now let us see with the help of example now here is a small example which is demonstrating the difference between non static and static now here i have declared two variables in t and b the, these both are non static variables okay and here is a static variable c now inside a go function which is non static 
because all the functions and variables are by default non static so go is a non static method under which i am printing the value of a b and c now here a and b are non static we know that and c is a static here so we can we can access a, a static variable from non static context why because non static will get memory at run time so non static can access both static as well as non static so it can access a as well as b as well as c so it, there is no problem now let us see a display function which is static now this is a static now static can access only static why because at that point of time at point of class compilation there are no st non static variables and methods will get memory so because non static variables and vari uh, methods will get memory at run time when objects will get created so static can only access static here a is not static so it will not able to access it b is not static so it will not able to access it uh, but c is static so it will able to access it so here in line 1 and 2 we will get compilation error now let us see one more example in which i will demonstrating you that a static variable is shared among all the objects of a class it means that if there are multiple objects of a class then all the objects of a class will shared a single copy of a static variable okay so it means that if we try to change the value of a static variable then the then the this change will be reflected for all the objects okay let us see we know that a uh, simple variable or you can say instance variables or non static variables are separately available for each objects i mean a and b of one object there a and b of if we create two objects of this class so then a and b of one of this uh, class a and b of one object of this class will have separate a and b and other object of a this class will have separate a and b okay but c will be shared among all the objects let us see with the help of example here a and b are non static and c is a static now inside this go function i am printing the value of a b and c go is a non static so it can access a a b and as well as a c and we now have created an object of this class which is and uh, and a reference obj1 and obj using obj1 i am accessing a and giving it value 10 and using obj1 i am accessing b and giving it value 20 now using obj1 we can also access c it is possible but we should not use it we should use static demo2.c which is the name of the class and we should use this to access uh, c or we should use directly c so it is the method to invoke static variable okay now i have created one more uh, object of this class in which i am invoking the a of a of object 2 and b of object 2 and invoking object uh, c of object 2 now after that i am basically invoking go function of both objects now if both if uh, we invoke the go function of object 1 what will what you are expecting the output it should be 10 20 and 30 it should print here 10 20 and 30 but let us see the output here it is printing 10 for a which is true now 20 for b and 50 for c now we have given here a value 30 for c now now it is printing 50 i have already told you that c is shared among all the objects so the final value of c will be given to c okay so the what we have given the final value to c which is 50 so it will be given to c so because c is a shared resource so whatever value we have given here to c it will be shared by this object also so here c the value of c will be 50 now a and b are Uh, now a and b are separate copies this object have separate copies of a and b this object have separate copies of a and b so here 13 and 40 will be printed when we invoke this function for a and b and c as 50 okay i hope you get the clear idea how static and non static static works if you guys like my video then don't forget to follow and share this video this is my unacademy profile link thank you guys.